Good day to you one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. I'm home from being on tour in America, feeling really great, and uh, just had an amazing time in the States. And I'm sure those of you who showed up will concur that it was absolutely awesome. Really loved it. It was such a great experience. Um, and while I was away, Rin, m- one of my favourite artists... Um, wrote to me and, and shared Money Game Part 3. I was privy to that before it came out because uh, he's a lovely boy and he wanted to show me. Um, but I wasn't able to react to it at the time because I was out doing darkness stuff. Um, so today I'm going to react to it uh, in the context of it of, of it having taken him to number one in the um, album charts as well. It's pretty amazing achievement. Um, and obviously I'm delighted for him. No one deserves it more. So uh, let's celebrate Ren today on Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Yeah. Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Talking about Ren again. Right. So this um, particular thing I'm going to talk about is Money Game Part 3. It came out 12 days ago on the 12th of October. So we all know who Ren is. Um, on this channel and he's achieved something incredible his album sick boy reached number one in the uk charts um and that tipped um, rick astley <laughs> who we also love on this channel um he released it uh, independently so it surprised a lot of people in the music trade and of course the general public and without any sort of traditional promotion or daytime radio play on stations like bbc radio one or capital extra um, Sick Boy was initially outsold by Rick Astley's ninth studio album, Are We There Yet? And then by Wednesday, uh, Ren had was just 133 sales behind uh, Rick Astley. And then he pulled ahead, um, clinching the crown by almost 6,000 chart units. And that's uh, that figure is uh, determined by combining physical sales and plays on streaming services. I'm not quite sure how it works um, in terms of what the how they weigh that, you know. But uh, anyway, whatever the rules are, he's done it. Um, he refused to be told the news in advance and instead he tuned into the chart countdown with his fans. Um, and there's a video here of him reacting to it. Okay. Ren has gone and done it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. He's just shouting fuck. So Ren says that the album is a victory over his health that he's had to struggle through throughout his life. And it's really that, my what an, Oh my god, what a moment. Jeez. We actually want to take Ren on the phone today to talk his threat. However, he wasn't on the screen comments. We just found out that's what he wanted to find out whether he was number one today by listening to the radio. Well, Ren, hi. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool that he didn't uh, didn't take the calls. That's actually really ballsy. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It really is. So richly deserved as well. Um, anyway, I'm out in Canada right now celebrating, he told BBC News. Um, we tuned into Radio 1 and I've just heard the news that Sick Boy is number one. I am buzzing. This is the best moment of my life. Want to want to say a huge thank you to the fan community. Couldn't have done this without them. That's really true. Um, feels incredible. So affirming. God... I nearly cried just then. That was lovely. Today I'm going to look at his latest song, The Money Games Part 3. Obviously there's two other parts, but I chose the last part to look at today um, because it's the most recent thing. Um, but go back and check out the other two if you have time because all of his stuff's astounding, really. It's, it, you can't just call it music. It's some other art form. Um, let's have a watch of that. I mean, it's difficult enough to play that sort of piano without something covering your face, but I mean, you can't even see what his hands are doing. That's talent, innate, brilliant.
So when the other hooded character uh, puts his hand on his shoulder and stops him from playing the piano, what does that mean? Is it talking about how within the money game itself, each of the contestants, i.e. the people playing the game, are interchangeable and the game doesn't care who you are or what you do. You're disposable. And the only time you really get to see yourself is when you when you no longer take part in the game, is that it? How come you look so cool all the time? I mean, if I'd been uh, had my head obscured, had my vision obscured by um, some sort of hood and rope combination, and then took it off, I would have hood and rope hair immediately. But Ren just always looks really cool. It's so unfair. Ooh, ooh. One years old and his first words were mine, mine, gimme. Two years old he was walking, three years old walking quickly. Four years old he was running round the pavements of his city. Five years old and his daddy told him, listen here son, you got to learn to be a man. A man he works for what he wants. So it's a, uh, I mean, I watched this before and I was, I was sort of blown away by the narrative of it really. It's a really cool kind of, um money-based synopsis of how well the corrupting influence of money and where it comes from but actually like in these initial exchanges it sort of seems like the corrupting influence is a generational misguidance i suppose you know um born into uh, a family with where the emphasis is on taking whatever you can and trampling over people <laughs> in order to do that. I don't think there's a single billionaire in the world that hasn't done that. No offence to billionaires around the world. Please give me, uh, put me on a payroll or something. But uh, you know what I mean? Like I don't think, I, I, I don't think it's possible to actually achieve that type of wealth without, um, how can I put it, clambering over <laughs> other people to get there. You know what I mean? Six years old and he's reading writing top of the bunch and when he's seven his progression made him student number one. Eight years old and he's praised So he's super driven because of his father. For unusual grades nine, his parents paid for private school to nurture the flame. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, he ascends and ascends. His daddy tells him, son, money is the means to all ends. Fourteen, solving complex mathematic equations. Okay, so he's a very clever boy. He's a 15 IQ, 150, still elevating. 16, he develops complex software code that detects weaknesses in cybersecurity protocols. 17, and he sells his vision, keeping the share. Not yet an adult, but he's practically a millionaire. 18, and his daddy tells him, now you're a man. This world don't give a damn about you, so take all that you can. 19, he turns a profit, stocks and shares, invest in product. 20, double down the Deposits. 21 his income rockets 22 he learns the truth is just an obstacle to wealth if you I enjoyed that little moment there when he says his wealth rocks Don't give a damn about you so take all Three you minutes can. 19 he turns a profit stocks and shares invest in product 20 double down deposits 21 his in So 3 minutes 29 he goes 21 and he talks about his income rockets his income rockets and as he does that there's a there's a descending line on the uh, piano to augment that it's really cool because it just is. It's not just he's not just rapping along to like a generic looped thing. There's there's stuff happening in the uh, backing track with nuance that, that accents the stuff that he's saying. He's, he's 
This is a different level of art history. And he too, he learns that truth is just an obstacle to wealth. If you manipulate the data, then the lie will sell itself. 23, a life of luxury, crystal and cocaine. 24, he makes the Forbes list, they're applauding his name. 25, and his daddy tells him, listen here, son. While you're sitting in that palace, that don't mean that you won. 26, a business shift, he switches business to arms. He's 27, dealing nuclear and shells in Iran. 28, inside the Senate, money. He bought him a seat He's 29 A role of counsel In the president's suite Now he's 30 His daddy says You're losing the race You're just a servant To the king Not even in second place 31 A big manoeuvre for It's really funny How like um, Gets into his 30s And his dad's still Pushing him I feel like he's He's not just talking About the money Stuff He's talking about How we bring children up And What it's I think He's making some sort of Comment on Pushy parenting <laughs> <laughs> which can be as simple as shouting too loudly when uh, your child is taking part in a sports event um, through to, to this sort of thing when you have a, a, an ingenious level child and then you force them to <coughs> destroy millions of lives in the name of um, earning billions of dollars, right? Is it that? With daddy's approval, moving imports over borders from the exports out of Cuba. 32, moving grams, growing kilos to tons. He's 33, filling warehouses with powder and guns. 34, turf war with nobody to stop it. Blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket. God, it's so well done. This video is amazing, actually, isn't it? I didn't notice all these little um, extraneous characters that come in. And then they're completely out of shot. It seems to be one shot. It looks like it. And there's a, there's a moment when the camera does a, a full sort of free, 360, is it? Yeah, it does a 360. Not 360 laterally, but upside down. Thirty-five. He gets the call. I'm sorry, son. Here's your father. Had a heart attack. I'm sorry, he's gone. Thirty-six. Getting pissed off. Abusing his product. So where is he? Who's pushing him now? 37, eyes glazed, this position demonic. 38, with a prostitute, a moment of passion. Heating up a silver spoon and then chasing the dragon. 39, getting breathless and hungry for power. Da Eating off a silver spoon and then chasing the dragon. So he's into heroin now. Jesus Christ, this guy's really escalating. Or de-escalating? Don't know which one. No, de -escal that's what you do to a kettle when it gets... No, it's not that. In devour, makes a move against the cartel, but the strategy's flawed. They retaliate and leave him in a hospital ward. A bullet buried in his vertebra, and one in his leg. The doctor sighs and says, I don't think you'll be walking again. Fuck. So this is a clever bit here. So at 5 minutes 36, there's a bit when the camera passes behind him and because he's wearing a black jacket when he's sitting in the wheelchair, there's a black screen, which is a cutting opportunity if... But it doesn't look like they've done it. It's, so, it's just seamless, this thing. It's absolutely awesome. Yay, and then there's the um, string quartet. Hooded. Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy He was 40 and he cursed the words Mine, mine, gimme 41 he wasn't walking 42 not walking quickly 43 never running round the pavements of his city 44 inside a palace with a mountain of gold But those riches turn to rubble when perspective evolves Weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free Put your hand inside the cookie jar, take more than you need And his example is exaggerated versions of me And it's a version of him And it's a version of she And it's a version of you There's no escape in the blame, the way we live is parasitic. Fuck the money and fame. Call the music. Fuck the money and fame is kind of like um, <laughs> it's kind of reflected in his um, refusal to talk to the chart program. Because <laughs> I, I mean, he would have had something to say even if it was number two. You know what I mean? Like he would. It, there's his perspective would have been 
the kind of thing that that makes that that radio show more listenable. And he wouldn't play that game. It's just he's awesome. This guy doesn't sell out. I love him. I love Ren. Well, that's okay to say that. It's natural. Really admire him and love him. This isn't entertainment. This is real life. The way we live is lunacy. Community it declines. Hyperpolarized, always fighting, then we divide. Truth is less important than the money that we designed. Money's an invention. Politics from our invention. They all come from people's ideas. Did I mention? Borders an invention. Law and order fuel the tension. It leads to people killing each other. My solution. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Seven minutes twenty-three, and there's a gun and some bullets on a table. A sense of foreboding has come across me. There's, there's a lot, I mean, this is a nine minute, nine and a half minute video. And there's scenes like this that are so brilliantly acted that none of it seems ponderous at all. You know, there's, there's a lot of gaps in the music side of it. But we're not watching it for that. You know, this is a, this is a multi-discipline performance video. And it's fucking fantastic. Everything is subject to change. We could build utopias if individuals were taught to use their brains. But if we teach kids in schools to always be sheep and put themselves before the herd if there's more money for me, then there's no future I see where the humans survive with parasites inside a petri dish with cannibal minds. Mold will grow upon the surface and consumes till it dies. And our fate could be the same without this story to the wise. Before we go any further, I just want to point this out. Doesn't he scrub up nice, even when he's got his uh, shirt half undone and his and his tie isn't properly fastened? Um, he, he has that sort of, um, I don't know, secret spy kind of James Bondy type vibe to him, doesn't he? I hereby declare that Ren should be the next James Bond. That's just what we're all thinking. Forty-five. Jimmy comes home out of the rain, soaking wet upon a wheelchair, drinking again. He is everything he wants, he is fortune and fame. He's a fortunate fool with an unfortunate fate. With a 45 caliber aimed at his brain. 45 a fitting number, cause his age is the same. Here's the words of his father. It's such a damn shame. Then he presses on the trigger of a money game. I love the way he sings the m money game. There's some sort of little hints of melodic stuff in the rapping. It's kind of half rapping, half singing, really. I don't want to say... It's a combination of the two words. Okay, it's fucking brilliant. I mean... There isn't anybody else doing anything as amazing as that, as, as a visual kind of, I don't know, viewing experience that's in the context of music. And for this to take him to number one is just like, that's so richly deserved. The work that goes into this stuff and the talent as well. He's a great actor. I mean, I've, I expect he's probably a great dancer as well. Maybe he's a triple threat like me, but what, I just love him. I think he's amazing. And congratulations, Ren. This is so richly deserved. It's an awesome awesome piece of work and an amazing achievement well done that's all i've got to say on the matter nice to be home though justin hawkins rides again again don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell for notifications join the mailing list watch one of these two videos and uh listen to ren support ren celebrate ren because he's taken over the world, just as I think I predicted he would a few months ago. <laughs> Not that I'm taking any credit for it. Ren's amazing. All right, cheers, guys. See you later. Okay.